Hi, welcome to Film Music Mentor. Today's topic, when to keep it weird. When to keep it weird. When to keep your film score strange, quirky, odd, weird, offbeat. It's a good question. So let's say your film has some sort of strange element that uh, would never happen in, in real life. Um, this is something that you should embrace and the music should support. If your film is going to be odd, you should let the audience know subtly in the beginning with the music. The music should suggest that something unusual will take place so that when you break with reality, whether it's, whether it's 2 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 50 minutes, that it's not a total shock. You don't want the audience to go, what just happened? Why, why did that happen? So our music can set up the mood or the expectation and give permission to any weirdness that's about to ensue. And this is important, and it just makes the whole film more enjoyable for the audience. And it'll, it'll make it more successful. If it's a short, it will be more successful in the realm of um, festivals, and it'll be more successful as a, a feature in the marketplace. All right, so recently I scored this film, which is a, a short film, and there are two women. There are two women having, uh, having lunch in a diner, and um, something gets triggered in their memories, in their uh, psyche, and they turn into their four- or five-year-old selves. And the only ones that know this is the audience and the person, the, the friend that witnesses the other transformation. So this is an odd situation and it needed to be treated. And even though it happens maybe four and a half minutes into a six minute short, it needed to be addressed in the beginning that something might be weird or odd or offbeat in this film. And so when that moment comes, yes, it's a surprise. Yes, it's funny and, and <laughs> really hilarious. And we're guided into it with ease. It's not a big shock. What you don't want to do is have something happen in your film where it doesn't quite match the tone and the zeitgeist of the rest of your film. So when something happens that's a little strange, you want it to be a surprise, but you don't want it to be out of nowhere. Another situation I had, I was um, scoring a film where uh, sort of a burnt out wannabe rock star that's... Uh, kind of hit rock bottom. He hangs out in a bar and he talks to a, a rock. But the rock talks back to him in a British accent. So that's not something that happens in real life. So the music needs to support that in some way and just guide us in and let us know on this this visceral level that, yeah, this is strange. Go with it. Let's have some, let's have some fun with it. Let's buy into it. The music in any film really, really represents the buy-in buying into the world. Remember, the, um, the function of music in a motion picture is to make the world of the project feel real. It doesn't matter if it isn't real. It has to feel real while we're watching it. We have to be absorbed into it. And so when you have something odd in your film, embrace it, support it, be proud of it. And I find that when something's a little weird, go with it and uh, don't hold back. That's fun. It's, it's great, it's one, you know, um, our imaginations are unbounded. And when we let that loose a little bit, it's fantastic, again, especially in the space of short films where, you know, short films are generally just examples of how we work and things we wanna do. They generally don't go on to, um, to be distributed or, uh, they generally don't go on to economic success, but they do um, create opportunities for everyone involved for bigger projects. So um, it's really the space to experiment, have fun, um, and do great work. Um, another kind of weird film I worked on um, many, many, many years ago was um, a film called Stucked. It was a short film. I think it might have even been um, a college thesis. And this, I don't think there was even a, a sentence uttered in the whole film. But the um, this man prepares this huge dinner for this uh, for this woman uh, to impress her. And 
he gets a piece of broccoli caught in his teeth, but the, the broccoli is like a whole florid. It's not like a little green thing. And he's trying to floss and brush, and he can't get this black broccoli, excuse me, this broccoli florid out of his teeth. And it's really funny. Just the whole film is sort of odd and weird. And um, I did this many, many years ago, and I still remember it clearly, and it had this um, kind of swing score, but then it got into a little bit of dramatic, you know, sometimes when we have something comedic, we create, um, we create drama or melodrama to accentuate the comedy. And that was a really fun um, project and where the, the weirdness was totally embraced. I also did a film um, even longer ago than that called um, Walk a Mile in My Pradas. And that's on Amazon. It's a really wonderful film. Lots of people in the in the film got won awards for things, including the score. Um, however, uh, the premise it was sort of a Freaky Friday ish premise where um, these two guys working for Tom Arnold, who's a contractor, one's gay, one's straight. They have issues with each other, and there's a magical Christmas ornament, and they they have this moment where they say, I wish you knew what it was like to be gay. I wish you knew what it was like to be straight. And they have this fight and this magical Christmas ornament switches their sexual orientations. So um, again, that's not something that happens all that often, right? It needed this element of supernatural weirdness. It needed us to go in there and um, make it okay for this to happen. So, it, so this odd thing didn't come out of nowhere. And... Um, Again, if you get to watch it, it's a fantastic movie. It's on Amazon Prime, I believe. So when it comes to weird, embrace it. Don't, um, don't shy away from it. Don't downplay it. Upplay it. Let the music uh, prepare your audience for the, um, the craziness that's about to ensue. Certain quirky styles of music get overdone. But there, if you have a composer scoring your film, and you should, um, they'll find a way to create a language for your film that incorporates uh, the weirdness. I personally think that there's certain instruments that are funny. I think the tuba is funny. I don't know why. I mean, certainly it can work in ways that aren't funny, but there's something about it, maybe because of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I think the bassoon is funny. I think um, the piano isn't necessarily funny, but a there certainly could be ways to do it. Um, so maybe there are instruments that you think are funny or odd or um, combining genres of music in a weird way just to, to create that backdrop of oddness for your film. So again, don't shy away from your weird. Embrace it, be proud of it, and show it off to the world. Thanks for watching Film Music Mentor.